Marshall to 10. With a turnover, it's Butler the other way from behind. He had a couple of shots, swiping at the ball. But he... White will curl into the paint. What I like here in the first quarter, he already has five free throw attempts. Caleb Martin with a three. He's out of here in this first quarter. Back in the game for the Heat. One of the biggest legendary, Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history, plays for every other team in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics, Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering his better defensive set? That's the question. They're looking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball. In, in, in so long and I'm so passionate and I love the game and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang so all my emotion came out at one time was it the right way to do it no but I can't control that when I'm out there competing like that's my love of the game that's raw me me at my finest me at my purest that's what you're gonna get I'm not gonna take it offense it's not personal Jimmy you shouldn't have done that yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in I don't know how long. I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is a playoff. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. Hey, we, we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes, I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So, um, you know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason. I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Um, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, it's a hard drive. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al, Al is willing to do everything and somebody at this, at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot. 
but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they can try to protect him from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics. But there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams. But the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the zone, we have to make quicker passes and be better specifically against the switches, guys. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backcourt and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports. What's going on guys? It's me phone and I am here with my broadcasting partner with all you know for Silver Spoon and it's game four and we are ready to start things for another rematch in between the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat of the Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat are just throwing out the pressure out there get a little bit of un un takeover for that but they might be finding it our way if they can definitely win this one to tie the series. There might be one way they can definitely bring it back. 
Will the Miami Heat try to take him out? Play the Boston Celtics in the fourth game? Or will the Celtics chase away with a 3-1 series? Let's find out what takes it. Now standing by, I have is Kevin Arlen. He's along with Greg Anthony and across from 2K Sports Crew with uh, with um, with David Aldridge, right toward in a courtside. And we'll see you all again later for the postgame show. Now enjoy yourself for Game Four of the Heat and Celtics. Let the matchups begin. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the Conference Finals. And here with the Boston Celtics arriving earlier, the players with a look of intensity as they try to pick up a win on their own. basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Hall alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and Dave Bridges joining us from the sideline. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Porzingis is out there with Taylor, and it's Holiday in at the one. And for the Heat, the wingmen, it's Hero and Butler. Then it's Bam Adebayo. Then there's Terry Rogier, and it's Highsmith in at the power forward. And Greg, on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close, otherwise things can go south and early. Now here's Butler. Missed inside. Holiday looking for an opening. Now the pass to Brown. Back to Holiday. No one near him. It's holding by the Heat. Here's Heist. Over Tina. Almost, but it rolls out. Inside and stolen by Butler. Hero kicks the up. Fouls on Boston. Is everything. Jason Tatum. His first personal foul. First team foul. Free throws of the game. The line three. Two. Jimmy Butler. They've done everything to the line this season. How about 82 percent as a team? ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. And good on the second, so it makes them both. Probably as close to a short thing as you can have at the free throw line. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Holiday. A shot, no good. Some solid defense from Rogier. And they pass it to Highsmith. Rogier against Brown. The shot. Terry Rogier's Responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. Tatum dishes to Holiday. Tries again. And it's good ball. Man, that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Hero on the wing. That's to Rozier. Butler on the wing. Beyond the arc. Gets it to Beyond the Outside, white. 3T 
tag time from Hero. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. To the middle. Here's Odebayo. Bam! Tyler Hewa. Even if the defense is playing physical. Outside Holiday. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Drew Holiday. He's setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And where is the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now, here's Butler. He has five. Six to shoot. Hero, the bounce pass. Tyler Hero. Three by seven. Outside Holiday. Butler against Brown. And he gets Miami the foul. Number 24, Hayward Heisman. It's first for a slow foul for a steam foul. Julian Gabossi has the ball. Jalen Brown as a teammate. Two to the free throw line for him in this one. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Good on the second. Here's Butler. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. On the wing, Rogier. Passes it to Hero. Back to Butler. Rogier, the pass to Butler. Shoots up the crown. And Butler. G. Seven points in the game. He usually lives in the paint, but you can't give him the mid range. He'll knock it down. And how would I catch the Tatum? It's a free Jason Tatum. And he for likes three. to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Miami leading by five. And here is Rozier. Has to out of mind. Wants to get it to Butler and does. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now, here's Brown. Back to White. Out to Porzingis. Looks up a three. Goes back up. And he lays it up to Porzingis. Talk about persistence. Time out, Paul, by running an AD. Bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. And the first time out of the game, called for the Heat. So we had a little bit of a range in between, and this is what has happened here before because of this conference was not always easier enough than playing like this because of that moment. This is what the R part does. Because they were playing it, it was the Eastern Conference showdown that had to be really more of an opportunity on the prophetic of the game, and there was nobody else that was able to get right into this one. Because of this game was really getting into a hard runs to take on the rivalry set, this one happens to be with no plays at all. Because this was given over. Since the first meeting in 1988, the Celtics hold an 83-53 lead in the rivalry's regular season series. While the Heat hold a 4-3 lead in the playoff series, teams are tied at 21-21 in an individual playoff game. 
because it's between two teams solid, solidified in the 2010s. And then after both teams forced big threes, they began to face the, uh, each other in the multiple consecutive playoff matchups. Every game, 2012, 2020, 22, and 23 for the last postseason. Now back to Kevin. <laughs> Right with the ball for the Heat. It's a three point game. There's the pass to right to the paint. Heat moving the ball around. Robinson finds Martin. Gets Got it.
And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and great, there are some. Some have argued for changing the charge rule. Did you see that? You know, there's talk about extending the restricted area. That was heard some say ban charges by helping you. I've been to Kyle and the Celtics. Which that was in this. His first personal foul. Celtics second quarter underway. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Oshita, the pass to Richardson. Now, here's Butler. Over Tatum. Shit! B! Butler! For Miami. I think people forget how strong Jimmy Butler is. Until you defend him, he can get it any way he wants. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says, Conley or killing you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope you're ready. And a <laughs> Josh Richardson. Thank you so much. Tatum gets to Holly. Now here's White. Still scoreless. Now Tatum. And Offensive foul. Jason Tatum. Two for him. Jason. A way to get there first. And A second personal foul. The contest. He pulled. For Josh Richardson. Substitution yeah. over to Heat. Tyler Hero. Rozier looking around. Butler kicks to Rozier. Pass to Hero. Robinson on the wing. Shoots over Brown. Duncan Robinson! Tyler Hero. That is the early assist on the night. Sonics trail by three. Timeout, Boston Celtics. Players lead, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Now going over to right between the boats too, as you start over from the other side of it, a Joe Monzula. The easy get coach here for the Boston Celtics that have been making his way in after Brad Stevens was his finish of the year, and he hasn't been able to do it on that lot. Monzula has joined the Celtics organization in 2019 and was appointed as the role of the interim and head coach prior to the 2022-23 season before he officially named being named head coach in February 2023. Before the All-Star break, and in the second season was Mazzula, letting it see Celtics to the league's best 64 wins, and this year, the NBA 2024 Finals. He currently holds the highest winning percentage of any coaches in the NBA history, with over 150 games. I always now know that your job, Mazzula. I think his head coach must have been the best way to improve it all, and he has done for his best. All the games we win? Great on. And we'll have more of our Eric Spolstra on the other side later for the next time out. Back to you, Kevin. Here's Tatum. Off the inbound, no good. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but we need just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up to the Boston Celtics. They trail by three. Outside, White. On the wing, Holiday. It's Arbio with the rebound. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. There's Hero with a three. Punishment as he takes. Again, again. Now 
Robinson finds Rozier. Just five on the clock. Here's Butler. And he should. Me. On the way. Butler. Butler's got four this quarter. Gary Rozier. Look how reliable he is. Night in and night out. This offense is there. Holiday with it. Picked up by Rozier. The shot by Holiday. No good. Miami leading by six. Passes it to Rozier. Right side Robinson. Over Brown. And it's Duncan Robinson. Now out of bio takes his time. Stands from Bam out of bio. The unselfish play. On the wing, Holiday. Got no rebounds now tonight. Robinson on the wing. He's covered by Duncan Robinson. Chance at the line for one more. Defensive foul on Boston. Number seven, Jalen Brown. That's quickly checked. His first personal foul for Miami. Receive foul. It's their passing game. For the game. Duncan Robinson. Moving it around. Line. Getting the ball. One. To their shoes. Oh man, the substitutional for the game. Also, Elon Wright on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. Whether he's playing the two or three, he's Boston Celtics timeout. Can Robinson bring a ton of lead to the floor? Now, timeout called by Boston. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. They're all playing everywhere in the game. I know they are. And now we have another talk over here in between of Eric Spoltschow. His girl, Alzheimer's, has called for Coach Spoke. And he's definitely the head coach for Miami Heat. Spoltra is widely regarded to one of the bestest coaches in the league and one of the greatest of all time. He has won two NBA championships as a head coach of the Heat. A particularly Filipino American, Spoltra is the first particular Asian American head coach in his history of the four major North American sports leagues and the first Asian American head coach to win in the NBA title. He has a lot of them to say when he has been taking all of it right in between. For the best thing for being at first is par. And with the coaching record, he has talked to one of the better's ways. But this would be okay if entering his current win and a loss without a reference? The reference will change over time. Well, you might want be what they're looking for. I guess that could be an answer to that. Celtics trail by 11. Outside, Horford. To stop the run. And the layup is uh, up and Horford's got his second basket of the night. Derek White. Beautiful find by Derek White. When you start your career with Coach Popovich, you either make the next pass or you don't get minutes. Here's Heisman. Still yet to score. Three-pointer right. And it's White with the rebound. The Celtics have gone three or seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. And with Jackson, the Tatum. lead is cut down to six on the bucket from Tatum. The underrated vision of Holiday. I like it when he's distributing, and I think his coach does. Somehow. So when we're talking about team identities, uh, Greg, what would you say is the Miami Heat's identity? Tough nose, aggressive, and hard working. Uh, that's what attracted guys like Jimmy Butler here in the first place. And that's the style of ball they want to continue playing. And the Heat call time here. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. Uh, they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. He stays up. And with that being said, of the, of the, of the head coaches, we're nearing down the end of the first half. 
We've got our halftime show coming up as we've got is Ernie Johnson along with Katie Jet Smith and of course Shag O'Neill. That will be all the three of the for the folks that will be joining us here for the first half recap. That's the tie could be a chance for Miami Heat. If it doesn't hit, Jason Tatum, is he falling for the trap? We may never know. So back to this game. This will be coming up after the first half is concluded. Constitution on the court. Montevideo passes to right. Now here's Montevideo. Montevideo. Feasting inside. Montevideo can bully you, and he's also added some finesse. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And it's right missing. Celtics trail by nine. Right the best to Pritchard. Here's Tillman. Shot is off. The Celtics have gone 4 10 in the second quarter from the field. And the pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Hero. Two minutes. Dose. Pomito. Five on the clock. Barry's in the Pritchard. Pritchard's got his third bucket of the night. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Butler. 11 points in the game. Two drop shot. That cheer! Number B! Five Butler! Shooting. It's important for Jimmy Butler to knock down the floater. Guys are playing up against him. You drive it, you don't want to get all the way, shoot the floater. Defended by Butler. And it's White missing. And he in by nine. Adebayo with the ball. Eight points for him. Outside Butler. Hero from long range. Back into form tonight. 
Penny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Heat? Their passing was clearly superior. They were playing a team, not one on one basketball. Good player movement, good ball movement, and they have a healthy move to show. And Chet, your thoughts on the Celtics? Just bad interior defense for them to rub the half. They couldn't push them out and not take them in. Um, that's kind of the end of the place. I don't know if he's 30 by the guys. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Cop Time Show. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. Man, he's been running wild on through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. The wingman, it's Hero and Butler. There's White. Rogier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Highsmith in at the four. That's the group on the four for Miami. Here's Rogier, following the basket by Derek White. Butler against Brown. The hero shoots over White. How's it go for him? And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Derek White. 15 point game. This is Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. The Heat bring energy and commitment to the defensive end. Yeah, and the Miami Heat has a strong culture. And they've done a good job bringing in players that match their identity. This led to a great deal of success. Hi, Chef. Hey, Jimmy Butler. Here's Tatum. And Tatum. Jason Tatum. Tatum, good for at least one highlight finish at night. This guy is box office. And here is Rochier. And looks like offensive foul. Oh, oh man, by the way, it's for his personal foul. Lost the ball. Often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. Celtics trail by 14. It's White on the wing. It's called Booker by Boston. Tatum finds Brown. Rozier against Holiday. And there's offensive foul on the heat for Celtics. Race out for Zingets. Second personal foul. Substitutional for the heat. Duncan Robinson. Miami leading by 14. Here's Heisman. Inside. It's Butler. That's it. B. Butler. He's got three assists now in this one. Two minutes into the second half of play now. White. Here's the pass to Persingas. From outside, off the mark. Well, he hit him on two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Robinson. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Tatum. Celtics trail by 16. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Persingas kicks to Tatum. Flying with his three. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes a penny on those. Duncan Robinson! Duncan Robinson showing off his improvement. Defensive foul. Jason Tatum. He scored a first full foul. Trip to the line. Jason Tatum foul. Now shooting a line three. Duncan Robinson. One. Substitutional for the Heat. Caleb Martin, Nikola Jovic, Jimmy Akash Jr. A little 
total over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Now Tatum, he's got seven outside White. 11 feet away, he held it on the shot a bit long that time. He beat by 19. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Look at it. Yes. Nicola! Why is Hunter Quinn? Jason. Hawkeye. Junior. I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back, and I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work. Because I'm not the loudest, I may show everything. Jalen Brown. His passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Here's Rogier, following the basket by Jalen Brown. Beat him against Martin. From deep. Corson gets with the rebound. Celtics trail by 19. Holiday dishes to White. The kick out to Brown. And layup's good on the Brown's got seven points. Few better athletes in the league than Jalen Brown, and he stays in attack mode. Pass to Hockett. Over Brown. Hockett can hit. Austin's gone 0 2 for deep to start things here in the second half. Jason, Jason Taylor. Sure of that one. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Outside Robinson. Rebound by the Celtics. White's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Holiday. Some solid defense from Rozier. Miami leading by 15. Jovich passes to Rozier. Outside, Mark. Rozier up top. Find the shoot. Down low. Nicole! Rozier spots Gary Rozier, Rozier the third. Just, just doesn't hesitate, just sends the ball to an open shooter. Now here is Holiday. Six points for him. White with it. Robinson picks him up. White. Gary, White. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. We only see Terry Rozier going all up, don't we, Gray, to make an impact offensively. Cameron, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that is... Terry Rozier On the passes from Cali Martin. The Celtics trail by 17. Timeout, Boston Celtics. And broadcasters were not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. The NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, movement that inspires. AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. And by Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sweet Golf. And we have an upcoming schedule in between. As right now, we get a great look in between of the Eastern Western Conference. Western Conference is happening right now as we got the next game that's happening here. 40 Mavericks at home facing against the Timberwolves. Then you know, the Heat will be getting back to, to the road trip to Boston. That'll be happening here at 8 p.m. back at playing in Boston in game five as this one will be playing against the Celtics again. All games here only on Center Beast for the NBA on 2K Sports. Now back to Kevin Orland. Josh Richardson stepped in for then for the Celtics, Tillman's checked in, and it's Horford in for Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Outside, White. Two minutes! Go! Right. Moment! 
Alonso. The pressure he put on that shot forced the rescue. Jamie Jr. Simply changing. Outside, Horford. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Ogier defended. And they recover. Horford gets the ball. Oh, Horford. And how about the court awareness? from Horford. Quickly grabs the board and doesn't let the possession go to waste. That's the hunt is. Richardson right side. And no good that time. White with the defensive effort. He kicks it to Tatum. Good shot opportunity. Tatum gets it to Tatum. And that's simply Tatum making the hustle play, wanting it more than the opposition. Robinson on the wing. Back to Rozier. Yep, Terry! Rozier the third! And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive, right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. The pass to George. And Richardson now top the key. Pass to Rogier. Just find the shoot. Here's Jovic. And Big boy Jovic. Jovic has got six points. Side Tatum. Shot from 16. Oh, and he Jason Tatum. That's the end of the third quarter. Good awareness. Heat. 66. That is the situation. 49. Good understanding and good execution. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Heat lead by 17. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. We get going in quarter number four. And Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Heat. On the floor for Boston. Hartford and Porzingis are manning the post position. Then it's Holiday. Then there's Brown. And it's Pritchard in at the point. Passes it to Highsmith. Hey, on the wing, Holiday. They get the rebound. Second chance shot. Here's Horford. No good, not a friendly room at all. This trip down. The heat, even by 20. To the paint. Here's Hero. Count the Tyler! Hero's not going to let a little contact oh, hey, what a nice shot. Shot. Here's Pritchard. Richardson cover. Gets it from Jason the point range. That pick okay. takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight hey, over, you're, you're essentially right. giving the shooter the look he wants. Up around the way. And here's how to buy you outside. It's hauled in by Brock. Sonic's trail by 19. Pass to Pritchard. Horford has a wide open look. Horford missing again. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Hero, no good. Great defensive effort just saved. Basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. A, a bona fide superstar. The, the pull up is a deadly shot for Brian. Over to the left wing. Good ball movement here by Miami. 
Butler, no good. Austin's gotten off four, three quarters in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Pritchard gets Eight. the bucket. Pritchard is one side of a great playmaker. It's not that. Man, it is dry. And the Heat call time here. Well, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Well, they got to start things up right now because they're climbing back in. Well, hopefully they might be the key chance out there. They got to keep on climbing in. And my to make a change here. Flight's checked in. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear our spokesman coach. He's on the ground. He told him it's all about maintaining the lead. He told him he knows it's easy to get comfortable when you use this position, but that they need to keep the pressure off. Guys, thank you, David. Here's Heisman. Miami no good on that time either. Great focus on the defensive end there to contest that shot. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Up around the way. Shoots over the ground. It's Buckley. It's 16. Lead by 16. Jimmy Butler has really turned up his energy level, going out of his way to pump the defense. Holiday finds Porzingis. Here's Pritchard. And they call him with the offensive foul. On the Celtics. Al Warford. His first personal foul. Keep ball. The last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Now, here's Butler. Iceman, the pass to Butler. Hero against Howard. Back to Butler. Shoots from the baseline. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got his sixth rebound on the night. Fires from 14. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Butler up top. He's covered by Brown. Butler missing again. This and that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Here's Holiday. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. One of the stronger guards in the lead. Holiday will take it up inside. Any chance you give him. Shoots from the high post. Long right. Celtics trail by 16. Pritchard passes to Horford to the middle. Pritchard gets the bucket. Pritchard. And a lead distributor for a big man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. Hero with it. Outside Butler. Back to Hero. That one doesn't go. Good team by Holiday. Banked in off the goal. Yeah, the toughness of Holiday sticking his nose in there, coming up with the second chance look. And right catch to Hero. Brown against Buck. Some sub defense from Brown. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they make numerous attempts to try to get him going. Mm -hmm. Shows oh, how valuable he three. is to this offense. Time out. I mean, a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. Now, time out called by Miami. Looks like that Jimmy Butler is a little bit slow to get up there right now, but he's limping. I think you have a problem with that. Yeah, but I guess it's not going to be that good at all. Because it's happening swiftly. Nobody is liking about it. And we definitely did not want to appear to make this one too bad or too complicated to get right back in the game. So as of right at this moment, there might be a last group for the change here. So Jimmy Butler might be able to stay on the court. Let's hope that he keeps it going with the team alive to get back into it again. I know it wasn't really easy for him, but 
Who knows? There might be no way they could try to handle it over with a solution to take care of it. It's not always easy what they could do, but that is all they have to get through it. Make sure to get it count and get it done straight, and hopefully they will do it again. State Stanley Cup playoffs is coming right around the corner, so you don't want to miss that one out right along the way. Now it's time to head you over to Kevin for your New Balance Player of the Game. Kevin, all for you. See you later. And now moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Jimmy Butler. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Okay, leading by nine. And here is Rochier. The pass to Autobahn. Here's Hawkins. Again, the miss by the Heat. And here's Boston. They're on a 17 to 4 run right now. Here's Tatum. It's all in by the Heat. 22 with their biggest lead. Adebayo passes to Rozier. Two minutes. Two. Momento. Six on the shot clock. The Heat need to get a shot off. Robinson for three. And Boston with the rebound. Number six has got six rebounds here tonight. And White scores it in. And you've got to love the energy right now. They got hot when they absolutely had to. They're so close now. They've got to keep their foot on the gas pedal. Now here's our bucket. Outside for Robinson. Oh, here the pass to Robinson. Here's our bucket. The mid-range jumper. Here's Tatum. Here's Persingas. Hawkins with the rebound. And really, for some reason, just not a big part of their offense today. Hard to get into a rhythm when they're getting so few opportunities at the rim. Now, here's Adebayo. And come on, Gio. They both over there by the Heat. Hawkins. Miami foul. Ayewood Heisman. Will be a it's the second personal foul. For the first team foul. Their number was six. You know, they didn't get slides of Austin. One, two, 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 two. They got the ball two. to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball move. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Jimmy Butler. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive. He was efficient, and the defense had no answer. And he makes the first. And looking at Tatum's game, you know, he really back on the court have for my weakness. He opponents. can give it to Sam you Houser. in a variety of ways. Peyton Pritchard at 18. Tillman, C. And so Tatum nails them both. 46 seconds left in the game. Now, here's Rozier. Outside Robinson. Now, here's Rozier. Tight defense on him. Harry Rozier! They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, they got the job done. In the basketball game. Jason Tatum. Oh, another huge night for Tatum. One of the top scorers in the NBA. Jason beat you in so many different ways. Now Rozier. That's 
watching this part of the game and the heat is striking back now tied up with two and two between Boston and Miami it's a great matchup I've always had to say it right now since the 2010s this came along because they just never really wanted to get caught up anywhere else and you know that is just how hard they can get there here's how they did with the dual statistics 56 for the Miami Heat on the field goals 57 free pointers for Miami Heat 100% free throws for Miami. 15, 46, and 10 for second chance points in paint and fast break points for Boston Celtics. 30 bullet bench points for Miami with 29 assists of the game. Man was 11 defensive rebounds for Boston Celtics. 25 defensive rebounds for Boston too. Miami only had one steal with one block and then it was only one turnover and two team fouls for Miami. Four dunks made for Boston Celtics. I don't know what's going to happen now. I thought that that first five was bound on a buyout for sure, but it didn't really help that appearance. Then it was 22 biggest lead for Miami, and it was 16-41 time position for Miami Heat. Now it's time to present your New Balance Player of the Game, because at this point, we'll start first with three stars. All for you, Silver Spoon. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players in the game. First up I have is really close in the game right now, but I'm going to call Peyton Pritchard with 14 points and one assist that happened to be a great game. This happened to go with all takes, and he has done. 6 out of 9 field goals with a range only two three-pointers would make, and it was only 16 performance effort. He just only finished it once, but the great one is twice as ever. Number two, Jason Tatum with 17 points with four rebounds, two assists, only had made 7-11 field goal range with one three-pointer with two out of three-pointers. But it was 21 performance effort, and finally, it's the dunk. Well, Tatum is always in the process now, but looking to return in Game 5 if they can get their win. And finally, we have is the number one star, New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler. 17 points with four rebounds and four assists, one steal to make. 7 out of 14 field goals. One three-pointer was given, but that's all right because he made both of them. And it was only 28 performance effort. Due to some unknown right ankle leg, he was all right until the end of the fourth quarter. It was a little too much for him, but with that finish, he just made that one okay and made it easy. Well, I guess that's it now. I mean, that is the end of the fourth game of the Eastern Conference Finals. Stay tuned for tomorrow night's game. We've got a great matchup between the matching make of the 5th seed, Dallas Mavericks, against the 2nd seed, Timberwolves of Minnesota. That will be the same location, just like the last game, in Dallas. I hope that everybody's enjoying the game, and peace out, folks, for a while, as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. This is me, Phone, and Silver Spoon. Thanks for watching, and have a great night. Until next time, Take care, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.